jury selection is set to begin tomorrow in the trial of Lynn Lee Rennick. Rennick is charged with first-degree murder and armed criminal action in the murder of her husband, Ben Rennick, in 2017. ABC 17's Erica McGuire joins us live in the studio. And Erica, you broke down the timeline of the case over the past four years. Chanel, back on June 8th of 2017, 29-year-old Ben Rennick, a successful reptile breeder, was shot multiple times at his home in Mo Montgomery County. Before his death, Rennick was about to make over $1 million. In early 2017, before his death, Ben Rennick was in the process of selling his snake breeding business for $1.2 million. On the day of the murder, Michael Humphrey, Lindley's ex-boyfriend, allegedly drove Lindley to her and Ben's home, while Ashley Shaw, an employee at her spa, stayed at the spa sending text messages to Lindley's phone to cover their tracks. Lindley is accused of conspiring with Shaw and ex-boyfriend Michael Humphrey to kill Ben. According to a probable cause statement, shortly after arriving at the home, Lindley shot Ben multiple times. Lindley and Humphrey then cleaned up the shell casings and the two left the scene. In January of 2020, three years after Ben's death, a man by the name of Brandon Blackwell went to the Missouri Highway Patrol saying Lindley had confessed to him about the murder. This led to the arrest of Lindley and Humphrey as they were charged with first degree murder. According to court documents, Lindley was facing financial issues with her Columbia based spa and she was fearful Ben had the means to take their children away from her, leading prosecutors to believe Lindley had a financial motive to kill Ben. Michael Humphrey was found guilty of first-degree murder in the death of Ben Rennick back in October. He is scheduled to be sentenced January 6th of 2022. Now, Ashley Shaw reached a deal with prosecutors and was not charged. Rennick's jury selection for trial is set to start at 8.30 tomorrow morning at the Boone County Courthouse. Chanel? Thank you, Erica. ABC 17 News will have crews in the courthouse covering the trial all week. So stay tuned for the latest developments.